hello everyone welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so this is part 20 of api testing series and today we are going to talk about what is soap what is rest and difference between them even though we have already uh, when i have started uh, this api testing part api testing series i have talked about what is soap what is rest and some differences between them but in today's video i'm going to talk about uh, what is soap what is rest and in detail level we'll see the differences as well what exactly a soap rest api is and uh, i'll also show some examples as well uh, through postman how we request the soap api and how we request rest api so let's get started so let's understand first what is an api correct so we already know we have spoken many times about what is an api so api is nothing but application programming interface so basically it enables uh, two softwares or computer system communicate with each other correct so it is a it is the communication api uh, enables the communication between the two softwares or two computer system with the set of rules i would say set of or i would say like set of definitions and protocols protocol is nothing but the set of rules right so to to communicate or to enable this uh, like uh, how they they are communicating so we are using either rest api uh, soap api or rest api these are the ways different apis we have like soap api and rest api these are the popular ones we have other things as well other apis like uh, grpc uh, which is developed by google uh, remote procedure call and we have graphql as well right right which is developed by facebook so but, but basically uh, these are the important uh, apis like soap and rest which are frequently and widely used uh, generally most of the companies using right now uh, rest apis which is flexible more flexible than uh, soap apis and in rest apis like uh, i would say like 80 percent or 90 percent companies are using 80 to 90 percent companies are using however soap uh, is still like many like big organization are using the soap apis because it is more secured and for uh, big projects they are using still using the soap apis but uh, we have still like lot of advantages using a uh, rest api in today's world like when we use a uh, different uh, cloud systems right so still we are using rest api so let's understand like uh, let's say uh, i have developed a software i have developed a website and for this website let's say i want to create create user for this website right i want to access this website so for that i need to uh, uh, need authentication right i need to create a user to access this website so what i'll do uh, google, google already have this authentication mechanism right so we are using many times uh, using we are authenticating many websites using google so they are using the google apis to authenticate to or to log in in any particular website so in this case also let's say we are using the google google apis for the authentication purpose uh, uh, so they will authorize like if i have a proper google account then i will be able to access this uh, i will be able to access this website right so now if you talk about soap how it is internally works right let's say uh, we are we are using the soap api uh, to access this google api uh, for the auth authentication purpose this is just for an example so basically there are three things in soap apis so we'll discuss i'll show you with the help of an example as well uh, using postman so three things like uh, it uses like soap envelope and uh, header and body so we simply will request okay in the xml body so it supports xml format so uh, only supports the xml format where in rest we have different formats like html xml text simple text and json format json is most popular right so how internally uh, when we request soap basically for this particular thing like let's say we want to create the user so this might use they might use uh, a function called create user internally to access that api and we use the post api here post request really uh, like mostly we use soap inside soap we have post request we don't have like gate post put delete like that all different http methods we don't have so generally we have post api only post request here and uh, if you talk about uh, request api so that is based on the url or uri uniform resource identifier or uniform resource locator right so particular resource we are locating and access that api so we use here in rest we are going to use post method 
with URL. Right? We'll, we'll locate that particular API, we'll access that, we'll provide uh, the authentication, like whatever ac uh, things are required, uh, requ needed as part of this post request and access that API. So this is just a basic example of how we are creating SOAP API and REST API. Another example could be, let's say uh, we have weather data. We have weather data and uh, we want to access this weather data in our website. We want to access this weather data in our website. Correct. So how do how we are going to access this using SOAP API. So in SOAP we are requesting SOAP API. We are going to use the POST method. Okay. And in REST we can get the weather data using simple GET method. GET method. Right. So this is the simple difference between SOAP and REST API. I'll show you example as well as I have told you earlier. So I would say SOAP uses the uh, service interface. This uses the service interface and uh, what is the full form of SOAP? It is simple, ac simple object access protocol. Correct. And this is nothing but the representational state transfer. So these relies on the protocol. SOAP relies on the protocol like it, it has certain set of rules. Correct and uh, it uses different functions internally to access any APIs. Here this is architectural design. The representational state transfer is nothing but the architectural design. And uh, this is function driven. This is nothing but the function driven. Driven. Correct. Internally it uses uh, the function, the logic inside and it uses this like SOAP request. And in REST we have data driven it is most rely on the data it is data driven so this is another difference between soap and rest uh, security wise it is more secure like soap is more secure so it is it uses ws security security which is nothing but the web services security it uses rest uses ssl ssl and https protocols like SSL certificates and HTTPS as well. It also uses like SOAP uses a uh, SSL and HTTPS along with that it uses WS security that that's the reason it is more secure than the rest APIs. So these are some key uh, more like key differences and it is uh, it is little bit complex to implement SOAP uh, APIs. It's complex and rest APIs are less complex than the SOAP APIs. Another difference is like it uses more bandwidth, more bandwidth, bandwidth and REST API uses when we create REST API, it uses less bandwidth. Correct. So these are the difference between SOAP and REST APIs. In the next slide, I'll show you uh, more differences between SOAP and REST. And after that, I'll show you how we can request SOAP API and REST API using Postman. So let's move to the next slide. So SOAP is a protocol through which two computers communicate by sharing XML document, right? This is the simple definition of SOAP, XML document. So it supports only XML format, whereas REST, REST standards, uh, stands for representational state transfer. It is a set of function, functions helping developers in performing requests and receive responses. Interaction is made through HTTP protocol in REST API. API. This is the definition of REST. Nature is strict protocols, so it has like set of rules and uh, strict uh, protocols we have and it is architectural pattern, REST is architectural pattern, format is XML and uh, it uses XML, JSON, HTML, plain text, so these are the different formats of REST API. And this is important. So message, it will be in envelope format and uh, rest is just like postcard. So envelope is nothing but uh, it is encrypted from here and uh, it has to be de decrypted at the uh, client end, right? When it goes from the server. So rest is nothing but uh, like postcard format. Uh, protocol, HTTPS, HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, TCP, SMTP, XM, PP. These are the different protocols. Uh, are used in SOAP API and it uses REST uses HTTP and HTTPS protocol. Speed is slow because of the like uh, it is the bandwidth is more and uh, 
a lot of functions inside and it is uh, like uh, it's not lightweight as well that's the reason it is speed is slow when we uh, use the soap api it is faster than the soap api rest api is faster than soap api soap is like custom desktop application closely connected to the server rest is a service architecture and designed for network based software architecture and uh, it is designed soap is designed with large enterprise applications in mind right so this is what i have discussed in the beginning as well and it is designed with mobile devices in mind so in 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 today's world like we are using so many mobile devices cloud applications so rest is rest is feasible in those applications right and easy to uh, create those apis so these are the key differences between soap and rest now let me show you how we can uh, request soap api and uh, rest api using postman so this is my postman and uh, last time we have already created uh, uh, already we talked about authorization and authentication uh, so you can refer the uh, part 19 and uh, here i have sample uh, soap apis and these are the api guys uh, you can we have so many uh, open apis for uh, rest so you can access that this is the url so i'll provide this url in the description box of this video so you can access uh, different different uh, uh, apis from here so i use uh, i took an example from here only so let me show you how we can request the soap api so what i'll do i'll create a collection blank collection and uh, i'll give the name of the collection soap versus rest and i'll create the request and this is let's say soap request soap request correct soap request and uh, this is the url we have save it and uh, this this particular api oh, sorry uh, this is the i uh, this is the url we need to use save it and this is the body body part where we use this uh, soap envelope you can see a tag inside is soap envelope right and uh, the body is important so what it does is uh, we get the list of continents by name right so using this api we get the access of different uh, like uh, continents so we need to use this uh, body and uh, go to the body section and select raw and put it here and this uses the xml format so select xml from here and save it and uh, what kind of request this would be this will be like always post right so save it and uh, so it will be post only so we'll get the list of continents by name using this api and what else yeah so let me just click on send what happens we'll see click on send we got 415 uh, 415 unsupported media type so we have to go to the headers part this is important which we have discussed right? headers and uh, envelope body envelope and the the body inside the uh, inside body what message we have uh, what xml format we have so if you go to headers content type is here application xml so this we have to change it so simply unselect this and just come down here we cannot edit over here so we have to add a uh, one more key so simply type content type we have at last content and uh, text xml we have to use like text xml save it and uncheck the previous one content type application xml so we have to use text xml now send it now here you can see we got the response so this is the request request body and this is the response we got so you can see uh, we got uh, africa the content uh, continent right so africa antarctica uh, asia europe uh, oceania and uh, americas north and south americas comes inside this so yeah these are the continents we got using this api 
and we got the 200 okay message you can see here so this is how we can request the soap api using postman right and uh, these are the different apis public apis which you can practice for the uh, soap apis now if you talk about we have already used so many times uh, rest api so let me create another request and we'll use so you can see guys uh, we just need uh, different containers from the server right but we use post request over here generally post uh, we use in rest apis to create the record in the server uh, right when we create the new record we use post uh, request method but here to even we when we request this api to get the continent uh, continents information we use post method so yeah this is post request so let me create another request for uh, rest api add request rest api and this will be get method only and put the url here save it and this is very simple so we need to just request because we are good uh, we are I mean, we want a list of users. Okay, this is an API. We want the list of users from this API. So simply we have this get method here. Select get from here and what is the URL which requesting. So here everything information is there in the this uh, URL only like uh, this is the particular location in the server resource, right? So click on send. We we get the we got all the list of users over here in the response body so this is the difference between soap and rest hope uh, you are able to understand uh, all these concepts between what are the differences between soap and rest api so let me know if you have any more doubts or uh, anything related to soap and rest i would uh, yeah definitely uh, give that answer uh, for you guys okay so let me know if you have uh, further questions through comment section of this video yeah i'll provide the notes in my website as well and uh, whatever links i used i'll provide in the description box of this video thank you so much for watching have a nice day bye bye